All right, what's up, y'all? NXT, man. The future of NXT is going to be completely different this time next year. A lot of the superstars that are coming from AEW over to WWE, I do believe, will be going to NXT. And that is what's going to make the transition from a developmental brand to a third brand show. I think NXT is going to make that move fairly quickly. Now, by the time NXT makes it to CW, I predict, this is a prediction, you know what I'm saying? Not, not for facts, you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking. But I do think that they will no longer be a developmental show by the time they get to the CW. And if they are, when they are, when they do get to CW and they still are, it won't be for long. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of AEW superstars are coming over and the bulk of them are not developmental superstars. You know what I'm saying? In the scenario that Ricky Starks, Daniel Garcia, um, Hook, Wardlow, if those four come over, I think three of them are not developmental. I think Hook is still developmental, technically. You know what I'm saying? I think he has a lot more to learn, but he's already very, very good right now. So he's not like far off or anything like that. But I have a hard time believing that they're going to put Ricky Starks on a quote unquote developmental TV program. You know, um, Penta and Ray Phoenix as well. You know, so I think if they do a great job of repackaging NXT to being a third brand, so where the main roster can be Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, and then the developmental part will be NXT level up. That is where you can start a new version of NXT again. And it's kind of like the way Triple H ran NXT, but with a different person running creative. Um, my only worry is there's a huge women's roster on NXT. There's a whole bunch of women that are signed there that we haven't even seen wrestle yet, you know? Um, and you could tell when they have these backstage promos and Roxanne Perez will be back there talking and there'll be like nine women just in the shot, but they'll be, just, they'll be there, you know, and they're not saying anything that they'll probably be there to like break up a fight if a, if a fight breaks out, but they're there, you know what I'm saying? Um, and another thing with that, oh well, damn, another thing with that, I do believe that there comes a problem with NXT just switching over to not being developmental anymore because a lot of the superstars that are like champion on NXT right now, I do believe need more time to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like when Kaylani Jordan, she had her first um, promo after her North American Championship win and it wasn't a terrible promo, but it was, it was obviously her first time being put in front of that um, in front of that crowd. You know, certain cues like waiting for the crowd to cheer and stuff like that. And when they were chanting her name, not talking over them and not cutting between. There were certain cues that she was just missing. I didn't care because in my eyes, I'm like, she's learning. You know what I'm saying? Why am I? I, I don't like when people criticize NXT superstars because it's a developmental program at, at the moment. You know what I'm saying? They're currently learning how to be ready for this stuff. So why am I going to start yelling? But so many people were just criticizing Kaylani Jordan. I'm like. Whoa, <laughs> we're not going to criticize Kelani Jordan for a promo that, again, that wasn't bad. She just missed a few cues. <laughs> it can be fixed up in one week. Maybe in a, they can fix it up when, when she goes back, back, backstage. Hey, when, when they crowd, when, when the crowd starts chanting, wait for it, pause, and then start talking again. Wait for it, pause, and then start talking again. Then it's gone. And she's cut promos since then, and she's great. <laughs> And don't and wrestling itself, she's a damn natural. Wrestling itself, she's she's like a female RVD. Seriously, watch watch the way she wrestles. She wrestles. She has one of the most innovative move sets that I've seen in wrestling today. She's freaking great. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, people like freaking Soul Ruka there. You have like freak athletes. Like these women are are doing stuff that a lot of the men can't do. The first time I saw that that soul snatcher move, I almost, bro, I, t I stood up. I said, what what, what what did I just see? What is that? I didn't realize what she did. I had no idea what she did when I first saw that move. Happen. I didn't know it was a cutter. I saw her flip, and then I saw her opponent on the ground. I said, bro, what, what did I just witness? And she's done it off of ladders, off of different ropes. She's a freaking natural. She got hurt, came back, still great. I'm like, what the? With the knee brace on. I'm like, oh, nah. Shawn Michaels has been out here <laughs> picking up. Some freaking super women, bro. And they're all great. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't think Roxanne Perez should be NXT Women's Champion at the moment because I think she's ready for the main roster. But she's great. Always has been great. You know what I'm saying? Um, There's, there's a whole bunch of people, man. There's a whole bunch of people on the roster. I love Izzy Dame. You know what I'm saying? Jasmine Nix is cool. I'm not a big JC Jane guy. I just don't understand what her purpose is beyond Toxic Attraction. You know? I wasn't a big fan of Mandy Rose and Toxic Attraction because... I don't think Mandy Rose is like good, <laughs> but but I think at the moment, at the time of her championship run, I was very mad because I'm like, I don't think a wrestler at her level should have been a champion for as long as she was. You know what I'm saying? So the group toxic attraction itself, it was cool, you know, but Mandy being champion for that long, I, I, I still don't really know how I feel about that, you know, but it's over now. You know what I'm saying? But. Even, even people with Mandy, I think if Mandy were to come back, I think she would be a great person to have back on the roster. You know what I'm saying? Because she's still very good. And she improved from the days of when she was, damn, a laughing stock. You know what I'm saying? Even with people like Javon Evans, people are just realizing how good he is. Bro, if you've never seen this man before he was Javon Evans, go on YouTube. Right now, you're watching this video or listen to this video. But after this is done or right now, I don't care. Cut me off. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> Turn this video off right now. And type in Jay Malachi and just watch. I promise you, bro, he's insane. He is freaking insane. And he's not even at his prime yet. Oba Femi, to me, Oba, if you look up professional wrestling in the dictionary, it's a picture of Oba Femi just staring at you. That, that, that's what it is. He's going to be NXT champion, NXT um, North America champion for the rest of our lifetimes. Forever, everybody. He's not, bro. He's never going to lose it ever. <laughs> he's better than everyone. Everybody. He has an open challenge tonight against. I think Otis answered it. Otis is going to catch a beat down too. Everybody gets it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oba Femi is is crazy. And then I didn't even start talking about this whole NXT and TNA merger thing. The NXT and TNA merger has been beneficial for both sides, and you can't say that. Technically, you can't really say that about the TNA and AEW one. But I'm not going to say that because <laughs> I thought about that the other day. I was like, when TNA and AEW had their merger, if other big things happened, let me know. But all I remember is um, Kenny Omega having every belt <laughs> and then Christian beating. I think he beat Omega. Um, I think that was the spot we did like an unpretty or in a steel chair or something like that. I remember I watched that match. I remember I watched the match when Christian won the TNA World Championship. Um, th- and then that was it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This TNA merger with, bro, the whole expansion of the brand of Joe Hendry. He was already slowly moving up as far as, like, people know who he was. They put that man on NXT two, three times. That man stock grew out the, out the, out the water. Out the water. Out the water. <laughs> That man is damn near a household name now. He's damn near a household name. And he hasn't even won a championship yet. <laughs> he barely did anything. He's come up there and look. He's come up there and look. He hasn't even done anything yet. So it's like you have people on this roster that are fully prepared to be breakout superstars when given the chance. You know what I'm saying? And like at some point, a lot of these superstars are either going to sign with WWE or end up, some of them may even go to TNA. And I hope some of them go to TNA because then you have the people who already have that exposure from WWE, you're bringing more viewers into TNA, you know? So it's like, you got the whole Rascals thing going on, Wesley with the heel turn, that's going to be crazy. I would love to see people like Myron Reed come over to NXT, you know? There's a, there's a, there's a whole bunch of possibilities, you know, and the possibilities are endless. They're endless. And I can't wait to see how this expands as the years go on, because you'll never understand how. um, Well, I don't say you'll never understand, but I never understood how big this partnership really was going to be. You know, it was always going to be something that was like really cool. But like for it to be as um, for, for it to be as beneficial as it's been in a very short time. That's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, hopefully this can be the start of something really, really great. Um, it's already the start of something great, if, if I'm being honest with you. But 
the, the future of NXT is is I, I can't even tell you how great this show, this brand itself can become, will become. And I'm, I'm very excited. And I still think this version of NXT eclipses black and gold. But if, if this TNA merger goes the way it's going to go and then the show just keeps continuing to get better, it's going to fully eclipse black and gold. <laughs> and this is going to become like a full like consensus around, you know, because right now black and gold is still the the premier version of NXT people always refer to. But I'm still of the people who think Shawn Michaels is doing a much better job in the long run than Triple H in the handling of NXT. I fully believe that. Black and gold was a moment. Black and gold was a moment in time, and it's something that will never be replicated. Um, A lot of superstars that are in black and gold, that were in black and gold, they will never reach the level of stardom they had at that point, you know? And unfortunately or fortunately, but still, it's something that occurred, and now Shawn Michaels has his own roster of superstars that are reaching their own level of stardom, and it's, it's, it may be even better. It may be even better. So, um, I'm just really excited. I think NXT is so great right now. And they are on the road to becoming even greater. And it's it's only a matter of time. You know, but y'all let me know how you feel about NXT, man. Um, has NXT made you start watching TNA a little more? I see a lot of people... Um, a lot of people that I speak to just watch TNA a lot more now because of the the partnership. But I've been trying to get back to TNA ever since they like switched back to TNA. You know, and the whole Scott Demore thing when he when he was unfortunately forced out, um, it kind of like took the wind out of the sails for me. But I'm still watching, and it's still a really good program. You know, so hopefully TNA expands and NXT continues to expand. You know, and when these AEW superstars come on in. I hope that you can combine what's happening with the AEW feel of it and that you can make a show that's even bigger than anyone ever thought, you know? But we'll see, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below what kind of video you do next. Say, Sip Jaguar, I love you. Guys, praise God. And I will see you. You! You! <laughs> In the next video, man.